Florida is like a love-hate relationship. Some days it's gloomy, really, really hot. And today, today is one of those not not really hot, really gloomy days. Today is one of the love days where I love Florida. Florida, its weather is unpredictable, <clears throat> kind of like most places, but you never know. Some days it's raining really hard. Other days it's just, yes. And this is like one of my favorite types of years because this is when like, we can really get all of our outside time in because you're not gonna die. Like with summer like ended like two months ago, like during that time, it was like a hundred degrees every day. For, 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 for us Floridians, this is like a snow day, you know? It's, it's not, it doesn't really get, it's gonna get a little cooler down the line. Last January, it was 40 something degrees and that's like the coldest I've ever experienced here in Florida. And I've lived here all my life. So that kind of like tells you something. That's why they call it the Sunshine State, even though it's raining like every other day. So if you live under a rock and don't know what a hornet is, it's basically where you take well, there's multiple ways you can do it. You can take a rubber band and go like this and you put it on their skin and go like that and it hurts. Or you can do the projectile way, which is what everyone's doing. Take a piece of paper like that. But I wanted to keep um, a little stash of silly bands and um, I put them in a, I have a lot and I put them in a little secret place. Oh, by the way, if you don't know, if you live on another planet and don't know what a silly band is. It's basically like this, or, no, that's not a good example. Or this, which is a, supposed to be a dolphin. Yeah, they're, they're just rubber bands that are in shapes. And everyone is using them to horn it. And I, I um, have a little stash of my own. You see, I haven't used silly bands since third grade. No, no before third grade, before pre-K. No, like around pre-K. That's when I used silly bands, and they're back now, and I, I they're in pretty high demand, so. Yeah. I got a, I got a, I got a good amount of, good amount of silly bands, and that's not all of them. I have an unlimited supply of silly bands. This video isn't about silly bands, or how, now I look like a silhouette. You know what I mean. How nice it is outside today. It's not about that. Today is about... It's about my longboard. So I'll give you guys a little montage of me riding the longboard right here. And then after that, I'll give you a, a little history lesson about this longboard in particular. about that um, it's pretty cool and it's it's been through a lot so this longboard was the first longboard I actually ever owned but it didn't always have these sick trucks and barrels it, it's been through a good amount my I didn't use it a lot the one that I used a lot in particular, the first longboard that I actually used a lot was this one. My longboard keeps rolling back to me. But this one isn't even a longboard. It's like this big. I called it a le longboard, and me and my friends argued about it a lot. Because I wanted, I wanted this to be a longboard, but it wasn't. It's more like a penny board that looks like a longboard. But yeah. The reason why it's wheels are on it, or trucks actually, oh my god, is because um, I used it for the trampoline 
and it didn't really work out because it doesn't it's not a normal skateboard the next long board i used no this is a penny board but this was the next thing i used i used it for like three days then i switched back to that then i used it again like i use it on and off with the other one and the reason why this doesn't have wheels on it is when the fidget spinner craze was out i um took out the wheels and used the bearings for it I haven't seen them since but good thing i don't use either of these i don't even know why we still have the decks back to this long board now if you notice all these all these skateboards were all by the same brand yeah. Kryptonics. 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 And the reason is, is because I got all of these decks from Walmart. I says on the beat, boy. I didn't invest any. Well, my parents did invest. Um, a lot of money in these longboards because you know I wasn't very committed to a singular longboard in case you can't tell but this one is like the beast so we our garage door was open in our other house right this one did not have these trucks it had yellow plastic trucks and like teal like clearish wheels plastic trucks keep that in mind the board goes like this, like it is now, into our, into the street, right? Stay. Basically, um, it got ran over by a car, the trucks broke, and I asked for a new longboard for Christmas, like, way after those two, way after this is broken, right? I asked for a new longboard. It's this really nice one, it's like 100 bucks, and I really wanted it. Instead, my dad sent this to a, a, cal a company in California, which is called Mirrorskate, 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 Mirrorskate. In case you can't tell, they sent me stickers. But basically, my dad sent this to Mirrorskate. They put these really nice trucks, bearings on the skateboard. And now it's like a really fast and practical skateboard. And the deck is from Walmart, and it works out. Oh, the wear and tear. So if you notice, this longboard has a lot of wear and tear. And it's actually because when I first got my longboard, I didn't know anything about longboards. And I also, at that same time, I got around like my first can of spray paint. I didn't like the color scheme of this longboard. I didn't know that spray paint plus grip tape didn't really work very well. So the, the, you, I tried to spray paint it and all the, like, the grip tape wore off. And I quickly realized that it's not gonna work. So there's like bits of blue, bits of black. The whole thing like all around the edge is black. And it actually, I think it kind of gives like a cool feel to it. A little bit, kind of edgy. But either way, it was a bad mistake. So that's a little presentation about my dope longboard. So I finished playing Overwatch. And in case you can't tell, this is my GoPro that I'm filming on that I don't use enough. And, uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit of swimming before I end this video.